Hello and welcome today to the Christian Construction Podcast. We hope you'll stay tuned to this episode. We'll be talking about resources for the believer. So stay tuned here today on the Christian Construction Podcast. All right. Well, it's good to be back here in the studio, the the ever-moving Never, yes, of the CCP. Um, Brother Matt, how you doing? Good, married man. You're, saying, okay. you're a married man right so now. So at this point, when married this man. airs, where are you going to be at? I will be in Clearwater Beach, oh. Florida. Well, I didn't know you was going out of the country. <laughs> oh, Lord, Florida. Not quite. Florida, that's close Don't get eaten up by them mosquitoes. Lord. I just hope the hurricane ain't knocked it out. Yeah, well, this thing got on my mouth. Dirty. Uh. Dur- Durian. Durian. That's Durian. what Pastor now still Hurricane Durian. Hurricane Durian. So, uh, when they, like he said when he's reading through Acts 27, when they start naming them storms, you better look out. They even right, did that in the Bible. <laughs> Brother Gabe, how you doing? I'm doing well. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, was a great uh, we, I know it's, it's, he's short and sweet. <laughs> he did that last week to me. I said, how you doing? He said, good. I'm doing good. well. Doing good. real good. You, about little nuts nacho on it. Good. Well, nothing's good. Hey. Hey. Talking to you? Talking to you? Hey, you like like talking to you. Give me an answer. <laughs> I can't believe brother, Dr. Dex took our, uh, took he, our thunder from a – He hey, went right to hey, it. Hey, we gave some Napoleon last week. Yeah, I give uh, so, Keith a hard time about him and Kaylin sharing a songbook. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good one. Hey, man. Hey, man. You have any thoughts on, on that, Keith? None. He's keeping the headphones yeah. on. We're going. We got to get him a microphone. We're going to give him a microphone. When we get big time, we're going to get a second camera. Or we can get his like his facial expression. But we got to get a glass. Yes, <laughs> yes. We got to get him like the board up tall and everything. Oh Lord, Keith. Yeah, we need one of those sound boards that, that add in. Oh yes, little, some uh, little filler like a face. We can add we some sound applause. applause. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that might be close. Key said, does that make him a DJ instead of a sound man? I don't know. Lord, I don't Brother know. Brother Jones didn't like that. <laughs> Robert Jones is not a DJ. No, sir. He, he is not. No, well, no, we got to get Brother Robert. <laughs> we got to get Brother like Robert that, down here. Absolutely. Brother Robert, if you're watching, just call me. I, I've been telling you we want you to come on. We appreciate you very Lord, much. Lord, help. He is a big help. Absolutely. Well, Robert Jones, a great missionary. We're not and, glad uh, that you're not here. We want to <laughs> we shake want your you, hand. We want to shake your hand. We want you to be here. <laughs> Brother Robert's a great missionary. We support him and is a tremendous help Absolutely. to the local church and uh, very overlooked. But he's helping very helping small works and mission works, uh, especially going out west. You know, it's it's funny. You got all these uh, preachers and young preachers that are wanting to preach and wanting to do something, but they won't go out there. And some some may not have the means to, but. Brother Jones is out there filling up some places and helping the preacher uh, that just needs a break, needs to come back for a month, or maybe he's got some uh, extended family issues. He's got to come back, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, whatever the case may be. Brother Jones is a real blessing. and uh, Some of what we're going to talk about today is going to include him because he's a real big media guy, and so we'll discuss some of that. Uh, one of the things we want to do today, we're not going to be real long in the podcast. We do want to talk about resources for the believer. Um, you know, we've had people ask us before, where do you get your books or, you know, what apps do you, do you use Bible apps or, or, you know, Christian apps, anything like that. Um, different things, stores, where do you go? What, where can you order from? And so there's some things that, that we have learned by experience. We're going to share with you today and uh, it may not be anything new or it may be some things. Uh, that you knew of, and it's just a reminder, hey, you know, I need to go back and, and walk down that that uh, pathway and go to that place or look at that again and uh, and revisit some of these things. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, guys, let's, let's start by talking about, I guess, uh, one of the things that, uh, that, that a lot of preachers would be interested in would be different authors. A young preacher is trying to figure out who's okay to read behind, who's not, who is most like us. Brother Gabe had said something about this when we talked about how to study your Bible. Uh, and one of the things Brother Gabe had mentioned was, um, you know, don't, if your pastor, and I think Brother Matt said this too, if your pastor, if you sit down and say, this is who I read behind, this is who I've kind of grown up listening to or reading about, 
Um, you tell me if there's something there you disagree with or if there's something that I need to watch out for. And so, obviously, if we name somebody and your pastor says, I want you to stay away from him and don't read this or that, then you need to follow your pastor's Absolutely. advice because he knows what's best for you individually, better than we do. He knows you better than we do. And the Lord entrusted him to watch over your soul. And so Amen. trust your pastor and let him help you. But we're going to start by talking today about some authors, people that we read behind that that uh, that are a help to us. Maybe we don't see eye to eye with them on everything, uh, but uh, but they have some good material that's good to read behind. Brother Matt, once you start us off, you have maybe some uh, some people that you particularly, I know you've got a pretty good book collection, uh, but some people in particular that you like to read behind that are ahead to you. Uh, I would say pro- probably if we're looking at commentaries, I love uh, John Phillips. Sure. Uh, I love John Butler, both of those guys. Uh, I've got Matthew Henry's uh, commentary. And I, maybe I'm just a millennial, but it can be kind of wordy. But, uh, it's worth absolutely. It's <laughs> worth it. Make my mind. But, it's uh, one of those books I, you read it a while to get yeah. used to the vernacular. Uh, but it, I have found not in everything. I mean, everybody's got different philosophies on uh, some passages sure. of scripture. But Butler and Henry are very similar, just in a con- condensed version. With yeah. uh, John Butler, so I enjoy that. Uh, I would say subject books. A. W. Tozer. Uh, A. W. Tozer good, is good uh, by by far probably my favorite uh, subject matter. If, if it's book by book, you know I've got. I, I believe I have every book that uh, Doctor Oliver B. Green wrote, and I love reading after uh, Doctor Green. Uh, he gives. I, I love his books. Um, I love his books through the epistles. Yes. Uh, I think he does a phenomenal job breaking them down. They're simple, really simple. Right. Good, yeah. easy to get and, and makes has it has it on a level for everybody. Sure. Uh, Leonard Ravenhill, I believe, is yeah. a very, is a great uh, subject writer. Um, somebody that uh, I love personally, may maybe my he he ain't got a lot of books, which is kind of disheartening. I love M. Art Hahn. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know sure. his book on the tabernacle. Is phenomenal. The chemistry of the blood, the yeah. chemistry of the blood is, is an amazing book. Um, so those are some of my favorites. Um, you know, Warren Wiersbe, I enjoy reading sure. his. Uh, you know, his subject books. Yeah. Um, he's got the B series, and yeah. uh, that's a great read. Very encouraging. I, I use those a lot of times. That I have found they're good reference I, books, I, but they're good just to sit down and devotional. read. Devotional, yeah. yeah. I, I was gonna say I found. You know, it's difficult to find a good devotional anymore. Yeah, absolutely. Um, half the time, uh, I, I don't say this super spiritually, but, ha- you know, half the time they're very shallow. Sure. Or they're just not doctrinally straight. Yeah. Uh, but he sort of writes it in that fashion as, as sort of a devotional, and it's very encouraging books. So I enjoy reading those. Yep. Brother Gabe, uh, who's some people you like to read behind? I, I agree with uh, Brother Matt. I'm a big John Phillips fan. And I like him so much, too, because he, he gives a little bit of the older man's picture on things. Sure. He's, he's, a, he's an older guy, sure. you know, and come from, you know, a different period in time. And he can give some insight that maybe you don't hear as much today because, you know, he just he's really good. And, and uh, as a butler, I like Butler, too. He, uh, he's really expository in what he does. Yes. And I like that, too. I enjoy that. I love uh, Brother David Cloud. Uh, I like a lot of his stuff. As far as some things that I really pay attention to uh, to study my Bible, uh, you're going to need a good Strong's Concordance. And I love my Say way of life. Say that word again, please. Strong's Concordance. Oh, you say Concordance. concordance. I'm, I'm sorry. You say concordance. I'm from Earl, but that's the I same couldn't. thing. From where? Uh, Earl. Oh, wow. You named your town after a person? That's right. But uh, <laughs> I, uh, we, didn't have, we, we barely had a post office. <laughs> But we barely had we one. barely had one, but uh, we had three numbers in our zip code. That's about the truth. <laughs> but uh, I really, uh, my way of life encyclopedia is very good, and, yeah. and David Cloud wrote, wrote a lot of that information. I love Brother Tozer too. I think he's very good. I like. Um, I really, 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 in some certain subjects, I like Ironside. Sure, he's he's, he's you know he's like different you know place and time, but I really a lot of those. Oliver Big Green's really good. Matthew Henry. I'm not the I don't have the favorite reader, so I don't I don't really deal as much with Matthew Henry. Right. But. Matthew Henry was one of mine uh, because it was one of the first books I had. I mean, sure. I, didn't, right. I didn't have. Well, my mom and dad had this had the five book set, 
and it had dust all over it, you know. I mean, it was old as dirt. Not to mention I had one of the first Strong's Concordances ever, ever – Concordance. One of the first concordance. ones ever made? One of the first ones. It looked like it. <laughs> I think it came through on – what was that? Hey, no. Was it? He got trying, we, no, we got that trying, board oh, working. Trying to get a hold of you, working. man. He heard it. Did he perk? Yeah, he got perk? the crickets going on. Can you, get, give me three names. Who you like to read behind? I like uh, Raven Hill. Raven Hill. <clears throat> Tozer. Tozer. Very good. And uh, I, I'll be green. I would have to agree with all That's a good choice. It's funny, Brother, Brother Green, because like, his books is like he's preaching it out I loud. can he hear him. Write, that's exactly right. I can hear him. You know who right I think would, The Bible is a book. You know who book. I think would write a book just like him today? Brian Treadway. If wow. Brian Treadway Brother wrote Treadway. a book. It would be a copy of Oliver B. Green's I book. Can, I can see that, yeah. I lo- love taking Brother Treadway's Handfuls classes. Handfuls on purpose. He'll start preaching while he's teaching. Handfuls oh, on yeah, purpose that's a by good Smith. That's, that's, that's a classic. Good. I tell you, some of mine, Brother Gabe, you missed them because me and you have read behind Dr. Havner a lot. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Vance Havner. Yeah. Vance yeah. Havner's tremendous. Hallelujah. I like Brother Stent Blue. I forgot to mention him. But yep, I, I, Brother I really Blue. Brother All of Brother Blue's writings are great. Uh, that, that reminds me, we need to find out. I don't know who in Brother Blue's family is handling that now, but I was told the book ministry was going to continue on. If we find out, we're going to be sure we get that information Absolutely. out to you because Brother Blue is one that you can still get information from. He being dead yet speaketh. And uh, had a left left a great legacy in writing that uh, this generation can glean from. Some of mine, as far as commentaries go, uh, I would say I, I agree. Doctor Green, uh, John Phillips, John Butler, all favorites of mine. Um, at Rod Mattoon, Rod Mattoon. Again, mm-hmm. we don't agree with all of these men on everything, yeah. but Rod Mattoon gets some good. Right. Another, another one that's kind of like a different view, a different point of view. Um, I, I agree with Brother Matt Wearsby, DeHaan, all these. Here's one that you don't hear a lot of. It's tremendous, and it's Guy King. Hmm. Guy King. He's written – they're very, very good books. They're usually only about, uh, about 150, 200 pages. Uh, easy to read, very good books, and they are commentaries, but they're good. They're they're good books, and they're kind of like Doctor Green or uh, or Rob Mattoon or John Phillips. You feel like I could just sit down and read it. Right. I don't have to be studying that book of the Bible. I'm just gonna sit down and read what right. I yeah. read about that book, and uh, and it's pretty good. As far as a reference book, David Cloud's Way of Life. Yeah, uh, right. I think it's a I think it's a must have for a new he's got, believer. He's got the website too. He, he's and you can actually download and we'll yep. go to that here in a minute. But that Way of Life Encyclopedia for a new believer, because uh, Doctor Cloud touches on so many different subjects. Uh, he deals with other versions of the Bible, and it's extensive. Very, he gives details, extensive. facts in, in it. He will ask a question: Why is this not? You know, correct or why? Why? Where is the error in this belief and in this belief system? And he'll give all of that, uh, and then he'll deal with simple stuff in that same way of life encyclopedia. And so he wrote a very good book on why we hold to the King James Bible. He's very good on stuff like that. Oh yeah, very good. He, Jeff Owens, Jeff Owens, Doctor Jeff Owens has some good material. Uh, I think he pastors in North Carolina now. Uh, Newburn, North Carolina. I forget the name of the church, but Dr. Jeff Foles has some good material as well. Good preaching, good teaching, good uh, all of that. Really good. And then there's another book that for a young Christian or somebody that doesn't have a real good understanding of the of the Bible, uh, Wilmington's Guide to the Bible. I don't know if you guys have that or if you've ever no, seen it. Wells I, loves it. Yeah. Oh, it's tremendous. It is tremendous. It's a great book. Does he really? I've never heard him talk, Does he talk I, about I, it. I've heard him talk about it before. Well, I'm telling you, that is a must-have for a new Christian, and it's not a cheap book. It is a great book, good book, and it might cost you something, but it's worth, if you see that book, Save. it's a worth investing. Big book, but it's a good book. So that's some of the authors that we like to read behind, um, and a lot of those authors you can find in the places we're fixing to tell you about, different stores. There's online stores, Christian book distributors. Uh, a lot of times you can get different uh, Bibles. Of course, you can get different versions of the Bible from them as well. I'm not a fan of that by any means, but you can get different study Bibles. Uh, again, we don't agree with them on all these things. We're right. just put, trying to point you in a direction where there's some study helps and materials. And then Scripture Truth, which is a company out of Fincastle, Virginia. And uh, you can go on their website. You can call them. They actually, if you don't do internet, they will send you a book list of what they have. Catalog, yeah. Uh, catalog list. And so, uh, matter of fact, I think Scripture Truth 
is publishing and putting out anything that, of Butler's that is being printed now, I think Scripture Truth has the rights to it. Uh, yeah. And that's, Butler is tremendous, but all of his stuff is out of print already. Yeah. Uh, except for whatever Scripture Truth is printing. So, um, again, I encourage you to get his books, and that'll be where you'd find them through Scripture Truth. And then as far as a bookstore, Gullion's Christian Gullion. Supply is, is one of the closest to us. They have a store in King, North Carolina. They have a store in Statesville. There's homeschool material there. There's music. There's books. Uh, preachers have donated their libraries to them. And so they have some some really, really good books and a lot to choose from in there. Um, and then Brother Shane Jackson down in yeah. Landrum, he actually has a Christian bookstore. It's called Christian Bookstore uh, of Columbus, North Carolina. Uh, I haven't had a chance to be there. I was with Brother Shane uh, several weeks ago doing a choir workshop and and thought I would have time to get up there but didn't have time to get. But want to get to his bookstore. Um, it's, again, it's just right up in Columbus. We go through that way pretty regular but it seems like we're in a hurry to get to where right. we're going and just not able to stop and so those are some bookstores that you can go to i you know we probably need to open our own bookstore just we really could <laughs> brother we ought, to, we ought to rent out by that little back store in grover used to be the making a bookstore furniture shop we That'd be bookstore something. well uh we could those are some authors. We could be, we could make some. We could we, we could do it, man. <laughs> I don't know. We could make for the glory money. of God. No, <laughs> but uh, auth- those are some authors, and those are some stores or resources where you can find that. But but we are in a different age. We're in a different time, and so a lot of people like to use their phone. Like to use right. their phone. Um, the the morning newspaper's been replaced with that, and then a lot of people, in some cases. Uh, even use that as their Bible. And I know in some churches that's acceptable, and uh, I, I'm not a fan of that. I like to have my Bible with me. I like to have it in front of me. However, if I am in a place where I don't literally have a physical copy, it does come in handy. Absolutely. Have it on your phone or on your tablet or your iPad or what have you. And so there are some different apps that you can uh, that you can really take advantage of. One of them, uh, the Bible app that I use is Blue Letter Bible. I like it. You can, if you have internet connection, you can use the concordance. You can access some commentaries they have available. It's a it's a free download. Um, brother brother Matt, do you have a Bible app that you prefer? I, I normally use. It's just called KJV Bible. Okay. Um, now that's you know on my tablet here, uh, but I don't I don't really use any kind of cross reference in it. Right. Uh, so I couldn't really attest to that side of it. I do know Blue Letter Bible is phenomenal. It is, Absolutely. and I think I do think it's an Apple only product. Isn't I, it? I just like the for that KJV Bible app. I'll show you it's a good layout. This is why I like it. Well, if it'll pull up here, yeah. So it'll it'll do like a text, like a Bible would lay out. You got verses on one side, verse on oh, the other. Oh, that's pretty neat. Instead of just drop down. Yeah. So I like using it a pretty good bit. Uh, brother Gabe, what app do you have? An, a particular app well, that you I like? like my Alexander Scorby app. Do you? Huh. Yeah, it cost me a little bit of money, but it was, mine cost me twenty dollars. I think it's called U Bible. Is that right? Is it U Bible? Um, and, and there are some different apps that have Scorby reading, right. but they don't have the same capability. The U Bible app, uh, you can loop a verse at a time, or you can loop a chapter if you're trying right. to memorize scripture. That's what I want. That's what I like it about it. Um, I, I can ride down the road and play it. It doesn't have to stay on for it to keep running. I can actually have it running while I'm doing other things on other apps. Yeah, have it running in the background. So to me, it was $20 well spent. I like how it does. uh, It really takes care of you. If you try to, as a Christian, try to read your Bible through in a year. Read your Bible, It really has a really good program for that. Keeps you up, tells you when you're you're messing up. Hey, you know, you're negative or such and such. I'm out of your above. And plus, it's... Brother Scorby reading the scriptures is about like you, well, it don't get no be. better than that, does and it? And the funny thing is, is there, I, you can go to places and like there's tapes of him, and it's like hundred and twenty dollars. Oh, it's still expensive to this day. So yeah. I got twenty dollars here, and I got it all. So, hey man, yeah. the only thing better than that would be Terrell Hopkins reading the Bible. <laughs> I don't know if they sell that yet, brother. Uh, well, uh, brother Hopkins, I know we know you way yet. down there in Locust Grove, but if 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 You've got some time, if Scorby ever gets to be obsolete, we're looking for you to do this for us. Okay, <laughs> so. Well, we love Brother Hopkins. He's preached up here for us. But um, the the Blue Letter Bible app and then the U Bible app is the one we just mentioned, the Alexander Scorby, uh, that his voice is on. There are some other apps I've been told that his voice is on, but this one in particular just have more capabilities, $20. I paid it one time and I was done with it, right? Um, Anchor Broadcasting has a great 
app. Uh, Brother Matt, you, you, I think you probably use that more than any of us. I hear you talk about it more than us. Yeah. You know, uh, they've got uh, on the app, you've got the, the actual, you know, WGCR the live radio, feed. the live feed. Yeah. For it, they have a separate music channel that'll play just music all day long, and then have a separate preaching channel that has preaching on it all day long. Um, and so you, you can pick what, which preachers you want to listen to on that preaching channel, can't you? Which one? Of, there's one you can. One of the parts of that app. Oh, where you might, can pick. It might through. be so. I hadn't, I hadn't looked through it in a, a little while. But let me see here. I oh, know I've got it on. But here. they they oh, have my. the live feed. They have the preaching channel, the music channel. Yep. That's where we're talking about. Brother Jones right. has he'll really be been. Into that. Yeah, he's real, been a real big part of that. And by by the way, Brother Jones, he would be a blessing for you to have at your church, uh, or if you get a chance to talk to him, he works on sound equipment, all that. We we're gonna have him just to let him talk about the ministry and different things right. that he does. But uh, that app is a tremendous app, uh, and, and yeah. there's so much that, that they offer that Brother Barton and those people there at Anchor are putting together and making available. Again, just another great resource right. for the believer to be able to feed their soul with all day. Yeah. Now, I, w- I will say this, something that, uh, you know, I love to use. Um, now, as you mentioned, the world going digital in every area. Yeah. And uh, I have actually, all my, all my sermons, uh, all my notes everything i've got i've now transferred to the ipad and i know some people like that and some people don't um but i i really enjoy using it it's helped me a lot stay more organized uh for those of you that do like doing that i i would put a plug in for an app called evernote and uh, now what evernote does is i'm able to if i'm reading a book i can use you know the headset that i've got just the normal apple uh, earbuds it's got the microphone on it. I can, uh, I can read it out loud, and it picks it up. So if there if there's a verse that you know I need in my notes, I can hit the button for the mic, read it, read the entire text, and it types it in for me. It's also nice, um, you know. I, I'll actually set that for when I go to preach, and when I go to preach, it'll it, it'll list out. Well, it it'll literally just. I can read it off after everything I said the entire time. It'll have there uh, on on the app, so that helps in. So it you dictates know, your mess, like everything that you said is picking it up and writing it in word. Right, form. it'll put it in word form on the on the uh, wow. on the app, and you wow. know it, it's I, not, I didn't realize that. It's nice. I, I use it. I, I, anybody who you know, I believe uh, I say this. If you're going to take preaching seriously, you need to, you know, you need to critique yourself. Sure. Um, you know, and, and it helps me to go back and look at things that yeah. I said that maybe I should have said before or said after. And, uh, you know, I love, I love Evernote. It, it's, it's, it's just a great app. It's very easy to use and it's free. Uh, hey. Speaking of that, you talking about critiquing yourself, this little booger right here, and I don't know, Brother Gabe. That's I don't a big know booger. Be able to... be booger be pretty <laughs> that big. little thing right that's there. That's a little one. You got some big ones coming big out. Right right there. <laughs> that right there plugs into my phone. Yeah. And if you want to critique yourself, uh, I, of course, it, it's helped me when we were traveling on vacation. I was able to record with a better quality, more than just my voice memo on my phone, a better quality through Shore. This is made by Shore, the microphone company. Um uh, I've actually, at Brother Chad Watson's men's meeting last year, he didn't have a means of recording up under the tent outside when he separated and did a, a youth section and had a separate service outside from the men on the inside. And we used that microphone. It had great quality. And they were able to take it and put it with the other sermons from the men's Same. conference. Uh, and so that there again, another resource that if you're a preacher or even a Sunday school teacher, you want to go back and listen to right. What you said, it picks up really good, and I move around. Even when I'm teaching, I move around, and it picks me up from the other side of the room if I get away from the from the lectern where I'm standing at. And so uh, there again, another great resource for a teacher or a preacher to be able to use to, you know, to critique themselves. Um, we mentioned Anchor Broadcasting. We mentioned uh, Sermon Audio, Sermon Audio apps, great Very app. Good app. Uh, Brother Gabe, do you have any particular apps other than the ones we've mentioned that, that you use? Not really as far as apps. I would say something that I, I use, and it's harder to find now, 
but it's a long title, but Independent Fundamental Baptist Sermons from the Past. <laughs> and the, the website was built in 1984. And it's got a no. lot of your... <laughs> Yeah, it's probably true. It, well, it could it could have been, but truth. if it could have been, it was it was the first one ever created. It looks old, son, but it's got a. Ton. It's got hundreds and hundreds of old old preachers that most of them yeah. believe like us, preach like yeah. us. Oh yeah, a lot Another of good, good website, uh, ifbsermons.com. Yes, uh, was actually, that the one that Van Billingsley? Had? Yeah, brother Van, and um, brother uh, point and then old past sermons. Mm-hmm. Brother Keith, what's a, give us something, if it's online or computer, digital, what's something that you like to use? Anything strong, I have it here. They have gotcha. Oh, yeah. They, you know, they have everything d- digitally. they got Strong's Concordance well, now. And that, that's one. Strong's, right, Strong's Webster, Webster, that, Concordance. You <laughs> said Concordance. It's the same thing, bro. I found that <laughs> that is something that I love, you know, when I go to travel to preach yeah. and I'm off. I, you, nobody wants to take all their book. Their, you well, know, I come from them days when you had to. Right. I promise you that was right. rough. You know, take your whole life. Have a week. tote. You got. You can get a Webster's eighteen twenty eight right. app. You can get a Strong's app. Anything. And some of these uh, apps have all that built into it. Right. right. Yeah. So I, I, um, I use all those as well. They don't have an app yet, but I'm I'm writing a letter to Brandon Staggs because it's. I mean, it is 2019. <laughs> we need a sword searcher app. That's the truth. Bless the Lord. What if we we will Brandon Staggs, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. We will take up an offering. We got to get a sword searcher. I use sword searcher on my on my laptop. Uh, yeah. I I. I, I I love it. It's to me. It's just what I'm. Everybody has different things. Some people use e sword. Other, you know, I'm a sword searcher man because I've got that thing laid out. Got right. all those commentaries and references, and it's just it really helps me. So I think a lot of this is important because somebody that does want to study their Bible, understand things. This is a good way to get all that good stuff put in you. you know, sure, it's good, yeah, it's good resources. I like having a book in front of me, and I like being able to sit down and have the book in my hand. But we are living in a time where some of these books, it's harder to get them. And so if you can get them and access them through a laptop, PC, a tablet, what, what yeah. have you, uh, iPad, then, then do what you can, get a hold of it, and get that resource in your hand one way or another. And Somebody we didn't it. plug when we was talking about the books is uh, Brother fun- yeah, Brother Grisham. Yes, Rick Grisham, say something about uh, that. Fundamental, Fundamental Baptist, Baptist Books. books. Yes. Very good he's stuff. here every year for our January meeting. Very many, many, many meetings Bless throughout him. the year. I know he's he's always at Brother Gravely's. And is a Jubilee. great he's, he's a great he's, preacher too. Yeah. He preached yeah, he, for us here a couple yeah. years ago. Tremendous. So tremendous if you ever around him, he's he's got a lot a lot of good books. Well, uh, we said we weren't going to be too long, but good Lord, we get to talk about. You like to talk. You bro. can't get a bunch of preachers. <laughs> You, you you can't, can't. <laughs> brother David. You can't get a bunch of preachers together. Uh, I, I somebody requested that I do some impressions. Impressions, well, he would, Tom brother. Bentley. We, we would, I, brother Tom. I would love to. I just don't know if I'm ready to commit my ministry suicide. Brother, we would go viral. <laughs> we would go viral. It would be viral, all right. It'd be it'd be a virus. I mean, or something. I don't know, but it would be bad. But. Anyway, we hope you've enjoyed this. Hope Brother Matt's having a great time on his honeymoon, and I hope he makes it back safe from uh, wherever that is, time, international, yeah, you're enjoying it. internationally known <laughs> Florida, you know. Uh, Lord, you got to get a passport to go down there. But I uh, hope he's having a good time, and uh, we can't wait to get everybody back together. And thank you, Brother Keith. We're going to set you up a microphone, man, before it's over with. It's, it is coming. It is coming. But, Brother Gabe, thank you, Brother Matt. Thank you. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Hope you've had a great time uh, and enjoyed the Christian Construction Podcast today.